What if I have this? I think they salute you. Oh, a cat. The same cat. Oh no, it's a different one. I hope there's an achievement if I get to pet all of them. Yes. Revelio. Revelio. What do we got? And this is amazing. This is just freaking to Christ the sheer details and everything they've, they've done here. It's so freaking amazing. Dude. I keep thinking I'm gonna go through hidden doors or something like that. Hello. Are you Merlin? Some of us don't necessarily want Okay, begin. It's very hard not to stray off to do anything else but the main quests here. in this game. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> okay. By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? I don't know, man. I've never hmm. been to this school before. Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. I'm learning Accio. Okay. Oh, fuck. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. It's because of Keep the fancy it. clothes, is it? You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Track and discover flu flames to unlock permanent fast travel locations and shorten the time. Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? So why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. 
Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. Okay, the so reverse curling. Possible, but not splendid. Oops. Excellent control. Uh, okay. Very good. Come on. Not to worry. Come on. Close enough. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. What challenge? I barely did anything. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, okay. Well, let's see. I think we got this. Uh, court rules? What do you mean, rules? Oh, no, oh, sorry. Hey, come on. I mean, can I push her, bo her ball off, though? Let me see. If this is just, like, uh, curling in reverse... Not that I mind. Push her off. That's it. Damn it. Oh, she's trying to do the same. Oh, Phew. sneaky. Okay. Well, you, you dude, move out. Move. Dude, you're. Oh, come on, my dude. Uh, it's good. Brilliant! Here we go! Aw, too bad. Okay, I'm trying to push her off. I, I still want to push her off with that one. Come on. Come on! Push her off! Oh, ma. Come on. I still beat her, I think. Yeah, I did. Let's make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I oh. think we're well past interesting at this point. This guy is good. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Somehow I messed up my name. My name is just Sir. <laughs> Okay, you did good, you did good. Yes! Should I try and push you off? I mean, will it work though? Let's see. Akio. Come on, come on. Oh, too much, come on. Happens to the best of us. Oh, and I, I pushed her in the 50s. <laughs> I even helped her, I even helped her. Well, this is not good. Uh, okay, let's wait a bit. Now. Down. Down. Okay. You are not making this easy for me, are you? I'm doing my best. Here we go. Be a pest. There we go. Can we push the other one down? Oh, oh, even better. <laughs> Come on. Push it down, down, down. This is oh, how you do it. Execution. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on cool. the way out. Good that's game, cool, class. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. 
took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember oh, that's cool. the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. Huh. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. That's interesting, okay. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. <coughs> Not Sorry. to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. That was interesting. Course, you can use Akio on humans. A word of What's up, What's up, Professor? You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always this dude is very a charming. Have you know what I, I mean? Sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Quest complete. Oh, he's gonna give us a special assignment later. I have level 2. Quests. I got some... Got some gloves. Cool. Oh, it's gear. I think we can see if it gives, you know, stats. But where is it, though? Is it just, uh... Oh, it's just a skin. Nee, I don't like these ones. Well appointed. Oh, and they give me defense, though. Or I can uh, use this. And I think I can... Wait, wait, what? Equip this. Then I can change the appearance of them. Yep. Cool. Quest. Wait, there was something else. Uh, collections. Oh, I think just the gloves added here. Yeah. So we gotta do defense of, uh, against the dark hearts. Legendary gloves. There's just a skin, though. Let me track this. How did I track it, though? 
Oh, right click. Oh, there's a flame. Or it's not here? What? Rebellion. Reveal. Oh. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Ain't that bad. Can we go up to his chamber though? I need to learn to pick locks. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Yes, I am. Hello. You wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. This is an interesting vase. Oh, sorry. Rebellion. What's with the mirrors, though? Oh, hello. That's it. And this is so, so cool. So beautiful. Interesting. Very sparkly and shiny. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. The big doggo. Interesting. I feel like this is all I'm saying. But it's just uh so much. So many things. I'm just being bombarded with everything. Just have a cup of tea. good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! <laughs> a surprised <laughs> opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Steady your wand with the mouse and guide along the symbol path to learn it. Okay.
Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Yeah, she's badass. Let us begin with the basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Uh -huh. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Levioso first. Well done. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Okay. Levioso. This should be easy. Protego. Protego. That complicates things. This can't be your first duel. Yeah, Let's boy. Get it, get it, get it. Joy and life. Try to anticipate your opponent's next move. That's how you do it. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like I us. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Uh, how Thank many you, points? Glad to have the opportunity Everybody keeps saying practice. points, but if doesn't say how many. If what is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Oh, nice look work. at this. We put him inside. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again... Perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Yeah. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. That <laughs> sounds suspicious. Unsanctioned. I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes, to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Aww. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Aww. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. We're gonna pay them a visit later. Quest complete. Uh, do I have a chest here or what's that? Rebellio. Is it up? Down? 
You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. But I think there's a chest on the uh, map. So, uh... What the... Actual what? Can I just do like... Uh-huh. Can I just levitate kids? Ah. Uh, why not? Why not? That would be actually fun, you know, to troll the NPCs and the students. Uh, what now? What's the astronomy wing? Professor Weasley wants to see me in her classroom, which is off the Transfiguration Courtyard, located between the Library Annex and Astronomy Wing. I think I need to go to Hogsmeade to uh, Hogsmeade map. Yeah, speaking of, um, just to get the wand and everything. There isn't a mark for the tower and the thing that you know the students, the dude mentioned about the duelings. I gotta just uh, think. I just gotta go and uh, find it. Explore away. Sorry, I'm just taking this in. Up. Rebellion. There's a flame. E another cat. The sun is up now, it's looking a bit more good, a bit more beautiful. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Excuse, Deke. Ah, there That's you are. not a. This is not like a good choice of a name. I trust your first classes went well. They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Now, more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now. Regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Or uh, Natty or Sebastian. Go with Natty. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. 
And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavoury local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand uh, sorry. Thoughts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Revelio. Speak to Professor Ronan to receive your first assignment. Assignments are types of quests given to you by Hogwarts professors that, when completed, reward you with new spells. The rewards for completing your first assignments will be Mending Charm Reparo, which is required to complete other quests. You can track assignments and their progress in the quest menu of your field guide. Okay. 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 That's good. This is beautiful. I love it. Oh, different cat. I'm gonna pet all the cats. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The Mending Charm Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. We will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. We need to connect, collect the flying page near the broken statue. Collect the flying page in the defense against the Dark Arts Tower. Okay. This is the right area. How do I... I where the flying pages. Is that it? Do I do when... Oh, okay. That makes sense. And we need another one. Ah, come on. Huh. Is there something shiny? Yeah, there was something shiny. Uh, Levioso? Ooh, interesting. What did I collect? I wanted I wanted to check that. No not the quests. The collections. No, not that. The challenges, sorry. So I got that and I got oh I need to do more for the gloves. Okay, and more quests for the other one. 